Hi folks, quite a few have asked me uh, what the difference is between the uh, 16 teeth cog from Shimano that would be an, uh, from an 1132 XT cassette and the 16 T cog from 1UP. You see it right here. It's usually provided by uh, for free with the uh, 42 teeth cassettes. You can see here uh, one one up component 16 T. And if I if you look at my cassette here, um, this one I have installed. This is the 16 teeth from Shimano. So what is the difference between these? Well. They have 16 teeth, both of them, I can tell you that. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to install on an extended cassette and a 1x10 with, um, with an X9 rear derailleur. I'm going to try them out, see if there is any significant difference between running this one or running this. So here is my X9 uh, drivetrain with uh, the XT cassette and with the uh, 16 tooth from Shimano. So that's a 16, so here it is. 11, 13. Here, that's your 16. That's your 19. You give it a little nudge. Here's the 19. Here's the next one. Here's the next. Everything else works fine. So everything else works fine. So that's what the issue is. This is with uh, the 16 tooth from Shimano. Again, uh, in my experience, using this is a 16 tooth from Shimano. Using the 16 tooth from uh, One Up is no better than this. In comparison, if I am to use the same cassette with an 11 um, speed rear derailleur from Shimano, the M8000, I'll show you how the shifting is. Here's the shifting 11, 13, 16, 19. See, that's where the issue was before. So, I think it's more of a system issue than a cog issue. So, this 16 works fine. I'm sure the one up would work okay as well. So, as long as you have either their uh, router uh, cage for your shifter or something like this, uh, the 11 speed from Shimano, I think you're good to go with an uh, extended cassette 1142 anyway that's pretty much it hope you guys found this useful have any questions let me know below and until next time thanks for watching